So it's nice to be able to spend time with your mum, isn't it? Yes. And so, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm very close to my mum. A boy's best friend is his mother. Who said that? Norman Bates. <laughs> and, um, I, do, I, do, I do, but it's true. It's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Because, you know, at the end of the day, we're talking about the OBE, the person who's approval you want most is your is your parents and I'm you know my, my dad died about 10 years ago and so you know all everything I do in some way I'm just hoping that my mum will like it well your mum I mean you are very close to your mum and I know this you're always taking the things you always make the effort with her so it is it's a genuine I'm sure she mm. must be I would have thought grateful that you you still have that connection with her and you still care that much about her yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> I always think my mum is prouder than anyone else, uh, uh, than, than, than me and my achievements. And the funny thing was, when I had the letter about the OBE, I sort of didn't tell her, because I thought if I tell her on the phone, then it sort of, you know, it sort yeah. of spoils it. So I just showed her the letter. So she went, oh, Mum, have a read of this. And she went, oh, that's a nice thing. She went, oh. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I said, Mum, are you all right? Mm, mm, mm. And it went on for about two minutes because she couldn't actually speak. Wow, so she was that surprised was the... that they were giving no, you an OBE? No, not surprised. <laughs> excited. Oh, I see. Sorry. Excited. Sorry. excited. Sorry. We can understand why I got to that conclusion. <laughs> she was that surprised when she was told you still got your OBE. <laughs> uh, that was a real shock to her. <laughs>